expression of Judah, Yehuda. At the very apex of the brain is the jang jangalantic center that was that we may term the center of reverence or the spirituality. It is there that man holds converse with the intelligence of the divine mind. This brain centered in the home or the house of Judah Yehuda. Blessed earth strong to all Judah and the line of Judah, Emperor Selassie. A spiritual consciousness which is in the scripture is designated as Judah Yehuda. Who of who often it is to pray and Isis. The faculty is also called the subconsciousness that is, it is about the various states of mind but not separated from them. It provides every phases of thoughts as an evaluate, ev, ev, evaluating, inspiring qual, qualities, quantity. All lawful ideas come from this faculty. It is the inspiration of everything that elevates and idealizes in religion, poetry, arts, in all the things that are true and real. This one of the function of faculties of the mind, it is that of the conscious which relates man directly with the father mind. It is quickened and enlarged through prayer and all other forms of religious thoughts and worship. When I and I pray, we look up from within. Not because God is off in the sky, but because this spiritual centered in the top of the head become active and our attention is naturally drawn to it. One of the offices of the spiritual faculty is the gathering ideas through which man can draw from the universal and universal mind. Yeah, God thoughts, that is, idea, ideas and absolutely true. Therefore, the prayer is cumulative. It accumulates spiritual substance, life, intelligence, and everything else necessary to man's highest expression. When we pray in spiritual overstanding, these higher realms of man comes in touch with the universal and, and impersonal mind, and that the mind of man is joined to the various mind of God. Yeah, Rastafari. Though Astafari answer and I pray in ideas, thoughts, words which are translated into the outer realms of form in due season. Isis is calmly related to prayer and is an expression of spiritual consciousness. Whatever we Isis praise, we increase true law of mind. Praise Isis is the portion or the positive pole of life. Praise Isis is the key to increase of life activity. If you dissipate your life, you decrease your consciousness of life. Though we find that Judah beside symbolizes the place in consciousness where we come into touch with the highest associated of divine mind. Terrify to testify also the central faculties of the consciousness. It operates in the body consciousness through the spinal cord as well as into the top of the head and find its outer expression through the life center which and regenerated is Judas who has a devil. When life is separated from the outer faculties, endeavors to express without their operation or cooperation, man give himself over to his animal in the human form. In Acts chapter 3 verse 2, the door of the temple which is called beautiful, sanctify, spiritual overstanding, though they are open when we pray and eyes and praise among the twelve faculties of mind and testify by the twelve sons of Jacob, Jacob. Isis is Judah. When he was born, Leah said, This time will I, Isis, Jehovah, Yehoshua. Peter and John were going up into the temple of the hour of prayer. Some person think that the overstanding of the inner life can be attained without prayer, but they are mistaken. All who have reached heights in things spiritual has been notified or noted for their devotion. Jesus, Jesus was the striking illustration of this. He spent the whole night in prayer. 
he seems to be asking the father and thanking him in almost the same breath on every occasion where he did a great work or expounded a noble truth. Judah means praise, Jehovah, Yehoshua. This tribe is often used to design the whole Jewish nation, indicating that Isis is an active principle in our spiritual thoughts and should be given first place in all our thanksgiving. Bless Jehovah, Yehoshua, O my soul, and all that is within I, bless his holy name. Isis' praise keeps the soul fresh and pure and beautiful. It is the power that opens the inner portals of the soul to fill the free inflowing of spiritual light and aspiration. The tribe of Judah which remained with Rehoboam, whom the kingdom of Israel were divided in 1 Kings chapter 12, represent the central faculty of consciousness. It may be roughly described as the focal point of the body organization. Its faculty express is the sp spinal cord, yet this is but the visible aspect of an invisible energy. This energy or mind substance has the very centers of the mind in the susceptible of the highest and the lowest. It is the serpent that may resist the vine whom and crawl upon its belly in the dust of materialis materiali materialism or it may be lift up and exalt to the most high place among the faculties of man. When it is sensualized it becomes Judas who has a devil. It is related in the first king chapter 12 and 20 that the only tribe that followed Rehoboam was Judah though pers persisting sensuality, sensuality vital vitalized the very core of man. He lost control of his other faculties. This is often observed in people who have lived on the sense plane until they are animal nature. We'll continue on the metaphysical meaning of Judah, Yehuda. Blessed earth strong, ever living, ever people, ever sure, yeah? Rastafari. Right.